So, fancy dinner with alpha women are the best. And I'll tell you why, okay? All right, so, I would say about 12, 13 years ago, yeah, it's, it, it has been quite some time ago, actually, <laughs> when I was uh, much younger and very, very busy the whole time, you name it. I was studying, I was working, managing family home, children, uh, managing and helping my family back home. So I was like super, super, super busy. Okay. So uh, quite often, you know, because um, my friends and my neighbors whom um, I used to um, have around at the time, they could see how busy I was and that I was trying to do everything, you know, um, alone. So they were so very, very kind. Most of the time they would um, help me out, you know, with uh, looking after my son, um, help me out to do sometimes my shopping, like food shopping help me out, uh, for example, let's say if I needed a lift because I didn't have a car around that time. Yeah, I didn't have a car either. So uh, basically, and also quite often as and when I had some free time, they'd say, oh, come over, have, for, have some lunch with us or come have dinner with us. So I would say they would look after me quite a lot. And I am so, so, so very, very, very grateful. I so appreciate it. From my side, um, normally I'm quite good at, um, I don't know, if you need... Um, to open bank accounts or anything legal or anything to do with um, completing forms and applications. I'm really good at that. So I would help people I knew and my friends and everyone that I came across in other ways that uh, or whatever I could help them with. Okay. So again, I think they were appreciating that very, very much too. Nonetheless, let's cut straight into the dinner party. I would say this is the best dinner party that I have ever held in my entire life. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> so anyway, um, so there was a day that I was feeling, you know what, it's, it's kind of a shame. I was feeling a little bit ashamed. So I said, let me hold a dinner party. And I'll invite very few friends, you know. Um, at the time, I had a really, really, really good friend who was also my neighbor. She lived uh, on the ground floor and I used to live, you know, just two floors above in these private flats in uh, somewhere in North London. And, um, and uh, there was uh, another family who lived nearby, um, who I went quite a few times there to eat and drink and spend good time with them. So I was like, let's invite my friend who is my neighbor downstairs and I'll invite the other family too. So we agreed on a time, on a day, everything was fine. Now, because I was only living with my son at the time, I didn't really have any idea how much food to cook for all these people who were coming. So my friend who was my neighbor, yeah, she said, oh, um, actually, whatever food you got here prepared, it's not going to be enough. These guys who are coming, the other guys, so the other family, they were going to be two men, two boys, young boys, about I think one was about eight and the other one was about 10 maybe, but they were boys and they literally ate a lot, which I never paid attention. I wasn't aware. And then there were another two cousins who were going to come as well. Their cousins, the family cousins. Both of them fancied me like hell and I didn't fancy either of them. Nonetheless, one of these guys who fancied me, he thought he's such a charm and that he could, you know, if he tried over and over, he could, he thought he could have me. Let's put it that way. And anyway, so I've invited everyone. Everyone came home and then uh, basically, again, before we sat down, 
uh, I decided I needed to buy a few more drinks. So there was a shop very nearby. And um, I said, okay, before we sit down, I'm just going to pop quickly to the shop and come back. I'll be no longer than 10 minutes. Everybody said, fine, don't worry about it. You can go and come back. And then the guy who fancied me like hell, he was like, I'll come and help you. I said, okay, fine, come. Anyway, to cut to the chase, I didn't fancy him at all. Not even for like a one night stand whatsoever, right? Fine. So he came as we walk. And for me, I was just trying to be kind because I knew his living circumstances. He was living in a, a big shared house full of boys. And you know how boys are. They never really take good care of themselves and forget about cooking. And he was certainly not the type who could cook. Anyway, so I was like kind of trying to be kind and nice and kindly offered him and asked him. I said, look... um. I never really cooked for you guys and I don't really know what you guys eat and so on. So if there is anything that you would like to eat, just let me know so we can we can buy it, eat or drink, you know, we can so uh, because we're going to the shops so we can buy it. He looked at me up and down and then he said, well, what I want, you're not going to give me anyway. And I looked at him and I said, oh, is that so? I said to him, well, if you promise to only eat it and never do anything else to it, when we get back home on that uh, dinner party, I will put it for you on a plate so you can eat it in front of everybody. Do you agree? <laughs> And then he looked at me, shut his mouth and didn't speak a single word. Then he was behaving and being polite. And as soon as we reached my home, I was teasing him then. I was the one who was teasing him. I was asking him, my dear, is that anything else that you would like to eat or drink? I can certainly put it on your plate. Just let us, just let me know. <laughs> from that day on he never bothered me again even though I saw him uh, quite often for I would say for about another year uh, I still I still saw him because he used to come to the area where we live because he used to visit his uncle I think the guy was I mean this is such a long time ago and I'm not in contact with those people anymore but yeah this was like one of the craziest dinners party so guys if you're ever going for a dinner party with an alpha woman be careful what you say because they might just put it on a plate for you in front of everybody. Then what you going to do? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's it. I'll, I'll see you guys and uh, the next video. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a bit overexcited now doing this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please, if you do enjoy, like, share and subscribe. Select all options so that you don't miss any of the future readings and videos. Take care and goodbye.